I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I well, don't know how old you, you are. For but not I was, but I was, I was out Douglas. as, I was, I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people? Research. Are you joking? I would do a oh little, my God, Douglas, that's do ridiculous. I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't want to come so. to your show. I don't think so. You're embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're shame to the queer You know community. what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm them, not a member of the queer I'm working community, here. I'm working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you I'm who's not a <laughs> member of the queer community. The person who ultimately about is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much. Hello, guys. What's up? Hi, guys. Didn't hope you guys are feeling good. Welcome back to the showroom. You know how this year we could be like real simple. If you join us for the first time, I want to say a big thank you for clicking and you're about to watch a very massive and interesting video. And for the returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for always watching the video anytime I post one. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you watching my videos always. Um, today we're going to be checking a very quick one by Douglas Murray and P.S. Morgan and James Barr. Like this got so epic and heated, and you can't wait to watch this one. They were talking about Sam Smith. I, uh, you know, Sam Smith recently. I don't know what I'll say if he went overboard, but because of this whole gender issues, it's causing a lot of problem in the society. So let's watch a quick one. Um, you can't wait to watch this one. Let's go. Uh, welcome back. Sam Smith is back again with more attention-seeking vulgarity. Okay. Uh, they're never one to do things quietly in recent years. We have to remember, call him they, there, them, even though there's only one of them. Uh, remember the latest balloon at the Brits? Well, they've taken things up a notch, haven't they? With a mm -hmm. new global tour criticised as hypersexualized and satanic. And apologise if you're easily offended for what you're about to see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, joining me now is comedian James Barr and best-selling author of The Madness of Crowds, Douglas Murray. Well, Douglas, let me start with you. Uh, <laughs> My guy. I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry. They. <laughs> they. There's only one of them. Why, why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to correct well, just you a few things, Jen. <laughs> why why is, that's how they identify the why is, peers. Why is one person they? Why because is that's one, how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Well, that's I, fine. That's right. Decision. My pronoun is hottest man in the world. Yeah, well, I'm oh happy to call God. you that. Go on, then. Some may disagree, but well, yeah, on, if then. that's what you are, on, then, then cool. I will address you as the hottest man in the world. Throughout the entire interview. Throughout the entire okay, interview. Okay, let's stick to that. Douglas, let's come back to you. What is going on? You don't have to call me the hottest man in the world, even if you're thinking it. Um, Sam Smith, <laughs> I, to me, he's just on an ever deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And of course, it's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualized stuff, the sort of satanic stuff. Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing actually is making people notice him on this is mm -hmm. that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. Yeah. Okay, I, he came so out I some years ago. Wait a second, James. I'll bring he, you in. He came, 
he came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he, <laughs> he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I thought, sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me. But it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, definitely, that is disgusting. man. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Yeah, we do find it disgusting. No, what you're saying is why disgusting. we're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I am. Keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. It's if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely, I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate. That. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years? I just want to go back to well. so the I think yeah. it's very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including Lewis Capaldi, who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard, and there were nowhere near as many <laughs> vile comments at Lewis Capaldi's body. The only reason you can't seriously... the only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel No, insecure. I don't care about his gender identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to use pronouns. I don't care about that's that. That's fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's wrong, okay. but that's totally Well, you just decision. told me I had to. No, I think you should, but if you don't want to... So I don't have decision. to. Piers, shut up. Well, I'm not Piers. <laughs> I'm the hottest man alive. Right. Okay. Right, so you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer... But my point about Sam Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view, narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He doesn't, he looks terrible. Okay, so... Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne, right? And yeah. Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically... Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. You can't you're seriously think about this. Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You can't seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it's absolutely fa fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. Well, has... I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. How is this fantastic? Um, Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> James Barr, I feel like you've, you've made uh, like, oh my God, I, I don't even know what to say. How can you say this is fantastic? I know a lot of people like it, but how can you say this is fantastic? He's a guy for crying out loud. Like he is a man, a grown up man. We all know Sam Smith when he came out new first. He was fresh as a dude, fresh as a guy. But we don't know what happened. Coming up to say, okay, he's binary, he's gay, he's this. But James Barr talking like this, I feel like you've... <sighs> let's go. Let's, let's check this out. Let's check this out. I sexy. Think it's you think that's sexy? That is, and I, that's someone. <laughs> you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, How is do. this sexy? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Would you yeah, shag do. it? <laughs> would I shag it, did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I would have sex with really? them. Really? Thank you for well, asking. You're a braver would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them, if I'm honest with you. No, 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 I can assure you I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old fashioned. Thank you. James? So why on earth are you friends with Piers Morgan? <laughs> well, you'll notice, that, you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yet. I mean, that's Yet, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yet. Again, I the just wanna, is young. I want to quote the Pope again, because the Pope has done this <laughs> Why? documentary. Why? Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're I'm not, all but I think it's really well, I am a Catholic, I think so it's, what okay, you, what great. So the Pope said that to express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not so, doing this for sexual expression. Oh, dear he's God. He's doing this just to be you you just your picking any He's doing dogma. it just to be deliberately offensive. Just go back to clutching your pearls. Go back to I don't have any pearls. 
Um, Douglas, are we... Look, are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid and it's attention-grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent myself. I don't much care for his voice. <laughs> wow. But the point is, is that, of course, he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak for all gay men, to be honest with you, what? Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so... no, I don't, I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA yeah. plus I, two, I think, two actually, if you think this show is offensive, you should come else. to my stand-up show, because compared Compared to that, what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to Christianity and Jesus. Really? So I'll well, see you at my tour. Starts tomorrow, by I the didn't, way. I, 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 I didn't know you were touring, but good luck with that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know what, James? Best of luck with the tour. Uh, you're never going to persuade me, and clearly not Douglas either, that Sam Smith is anything other than an attention seeker. Because... But this whole debate is attention-seeking. Isn't being an artist about attention-seeking? Well, it Isn't could that the be. Whole point? It could be, but when you're just going to that kind of length just to be deliberately, slobbishly offensive, I think Thank it's you. unacceptable. Thank you. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately mis Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. doesn't matter what you decide is right or naked wrong. Naked and, and semi-naked. Like, I mean, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you, probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna, you know, when she says, stop objectifying me. What else are we supposed to do with Madonna, <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify You know what? You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not being... a cis anything. Uh, uh, right. Shut Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm just carrying on. I don't sorry, even know what, what cis say? is. Look, it's what sorry, is what, what did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was born, what did you just say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Yeah, hang Listen, on, hang on. I got to hear what, 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 what did you just say, James? What did you just say, man? Skin color is now relevant. I've got to hear that. We're white men. I've got to hear that. You're clicked. So you're now being viral debate. You're now being racist. And you're calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on, Piers. Piers. Wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat. Say it, man. Both, but I can't remember, to be honest with you. Say I think you said... OK, why don't you shut just up for a moment? Just straight, more. I Doug think you straight said... Man. Well, Douglas isn't I think straight. You said oh, you that not, we're Douglas? both. I, I, I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I well, don't know how old you, you are. Shame on you for but not I was, supporting but I was, the community, I was out Douglas. As, I was... I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people. Research. Are you joking? I would do a oh little. Oh my God, Douglas, do that's ridiculous. I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't want to come so. to your show. I don't think so. You're embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're a shame to the queer You know community. what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm them, not a member of the queer community, working here, working you hard. stupid sod. I'll tell you who's <laughs> not a member of the queer community. The person who ultimately about is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much for the picture of sexy Sam I hate you, stage. Douglas. Yeah, no. Douglas, thank mate. you very much. Cheers. James, thank you very much. I'm glad we ended with such har harmony. It's been a very harmonious <laughs> evening. Oh, my God. This was interesting. This was, like, fabulous. <sighs> James Barr, I, I don't know what to call you right now. But I like the way Douglas Murray completely dismantled him, like, for real. I just like the way he was so speechless. He was so flagabasted. He was just... He was he was just looking lame, like for real. <laughs> like this whole Sam Smith issue, I don't know. It should be checked out. Like it should really be checked out. Because it's getting out of hand. Like it's getting way out of hand. He comes to stage like that. I know there's a lot of people that want to support that kind of thing. There's a lot of people that want to um entertain that kind of lifestyle. But look at the other hand. There are a lot of people calling him vague. There are a lot of people calling him vague. But that he's always doing. He's, he's acting vague, so they have to call him and address him as vague, you know? Like, it's, 
it's just mind blowing. The whole world is turning upside down. This is what could not happen before. I know a lot of people, especially when it comes to musicians, artists, when they come on stage to perform, they have to go extra mile to make sure they seek attention. But this attention is not the attention we want to give you. We want, we don't want to give you this kind of attention. We don't want to give you this kind of sexual attention, the wrong sexual attention. You know, at least be like, be like a man and let women be attracted or get women's attraction or attention but not acting like a woman you know not just anyhow woman dressing up with tongues to stage when you're a man who who does that like for real who does that it's just so mind-blowing and i love this pierce morgan on sensor so like with douglas murray on it i feel like it's a top notch it's a 100 over 100 it's just mind-blowing Ah, <sighs> anyways, let me know your feedback, like, about this. I'll be so happy to get your feedback on the comment session. Like, I literally check, check out the comment session because your comment makes me happy. And I want to say thank you to every new person here. Thank you so much for joining the family. Thank you guys so much. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to say I love you so much. Thank you for listening watching watching my content. I love you guys. Make sure you watch and watch out for more. Peace and God bless you. Okay, let me know what you think about this. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below so that I know what you think about this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch out for more. Peace and God bless you.